Hello, and welcome to the training. My name is Jeff Osnes, and I'm going to be your host. Think of me like your virtual tour guide. Today, I'm going to be walking you through the import process in PhoneBurner, showing you how you can take the data from your files and get them loaded into your PhoneBurner account, making it easy for you to smile and dial and make 60 to 80 dials an hour using the power of phone burner. So the first thing I want to show you is all the different places that you can go to initiate an import. Right now you're looking at the dashboard. On the right hand side of the dashboard you've got this import contacts button. You can click on this button here and that will take you to the import contacts page so you can initiate an import. You can also access this page under contacts. So from the contact manager, you can click on the import button in the upper left hand corner here. Once you click on that, it'll take you to the import contacts page, just like we did before. And another way you can access this is through the dial sessions tab. Up at the top of the dial sessions page, you'll see an import your contacts button. All three of these methods get you to the same point where you can start importing your contacts. Now if you get stuck or need some help or just don't quite understand any particular step along the way, I do want to point out in the upper right hand corner this little question mark. Every step has its own little training video so if you get stuck you can dive into the details and learn more about that specific step. Now let's jump into it. So here we are at step one. The first step is to choose the file that you want to import into the system. You can either browse your computer to find the file that you want to import. Very simply select the file then hit open. Or if you already have that file open in a separate window, you can just drag and drop. Once you've selected the file that you want to import, either by browsing or dragging and dropping, you're going to automatically be moved on to step number two. And step number two is an important step. This is where you get to map the data from your file into the fields in PhoneBurner. Now if you're going to be doing a lot of importing, you can actually save import templates. So here you can see I've actually saved the template on this particular account. So I click on this daily import template from CRM. When I select that, the system will automatically apply the previous import settings to this import. So here you can see the phone's been mapped to phone home, first name to first name, last name to last name, city to city. So there's several fields that are already pre-mapped based off the template that I just applied to this import. Whether you're using an import template or you're starting from scratch, this next section is the same either way. You need to review what's coming over from your files. Here you can see I've got the column headers from my file and then I can preview the data that's in that file right here. Going back and forth between different records in that file to kind of see what's listed there or what's in the file itself. But I can go through here and I can just review it to make sure that everything is mapped appropriately. For example, I've got this date field right here. Right now, based off the current import template, this will not be imported. Now, if I change my mind and on this particular file, I want to import that date field, I just click on the drop down menu here and I just tell the system where I want to import that into the system. Maybe this date field is the renewal date, so I choose renewal date. Now, renewal date is a custom field that I've already created in my phone burner account. What if you have some data in your file that you would like to import, but you don't already have a field for it in your account? Not a problem. You can create custom fields on the fly during import. So you just choose the Create Custom Field option. Once you do that, you'll be able to choose the type of field that this is. Now this particular field that I'm about to import is yes or no. So this is either one or the other. And so I might want to set that up as a checkbox field. And then I need to give it a name. And that's it. So here we'll just kind of scroll through and look at a few other things. Title, match that up, company name. You might be noticing that as I start selecting things from my menu, this menu gets smaller and smaller to make it easier for you to find existing fields that you might want to apply to data that you're going to import and also to make it so that you don't accidentally try to map two things to the same field. Now once we've mapped everything out, there's just one more option down here at the bottom and that is regarding the template. Now because I used a template, the system wants to know if I want to update the existing template with my new mapping 
or if I want to create a new template. If I choose to save it as a new template, I'll be able to give it a name. Now, if I haven't selected a template, at this point, my only option would be to give it a name if I want to save it. So let's go ahead and give it a new name. I'll call it Hot Contacts Updated, and let's move on to the next step. This third step has several very important options. The first one, and the most important one, is the folder. Which folder do you want to put the data in that you're about to import? In this particular case, it's pre-selected to available leads because that's the one that's assigned to this template. However, if I wanted to, I could change it to a different folder or even create a new folder on import. We can also add or apply tags to the records on import. Now, I'm not going to go into detail on what tags are and how you'd want to use them. You can also add these records to an existing save search or create a new save search. You can also scrub for duplicates based off of email and or phone number. When doing a duplicate match and you're part of a team, you get the choice to scrub for duplicates or duplicate match on your account only, or you can do that across your entire team. And one other option for duplicate matching is the ability to either just skip the data if the data already exists in the account, or you can update the match contact. And then the final option here is the DNC list. When you're importing data, some of those phone numbers could possibly be on your personal or team DNC list. And so the default option is to not import those records if they're on your do not call list. And let's go ahead and move on to the next step. The fourth and final step is the review step, where we list out several records and show you how they're going to be imported into the system. This is your sanity check, where you can double check to make sure everything looks like it's getting imported correctly. As long as this looks right to you, then there's nothing else to do but click the Yes, Please Import. Once you do that, the system will start to process the file. And once completed, you'll be notified that that import is complete and you'll be able to go and view the imported contacts. And there we go. We can see our 16 contacts have been imported, and we're ready to start smiling and dialing and closing more deals using the power of phone burner. Thank you again for taking the time to watch this training video. I hope you found value in it, and I wish you the best. Happy dialing.